everybody. I don't know how to put this, so I'm just gonna come out with it. This stuff is impossible. Just kidding, it's easy and you're gonna feel that way too right after this video. All right, everybody, so we're gonna go through this step by step. The first thing is naming the circle. Now, when you go to name a circle, basically you're gonna look at it and that dot in the center, that's what you name it, whatever that is. Here it's an R, so you'd name this circle R. If it was an X, circle X, and so forth. So you're gonna draw a picture of a circle, with a little dot in the center, and then whatever that letter is, put it there. So in this case, we have circle R, and that's it, done. This question right here says name the radii of the circle. So radii, that's plural for radius, so that means they want all of them. So when we look at this circle, you have to remember what a radius is. A radius is a segment, and it goes from the center of the circle to the circle itself. Now when I say to the circle itself, I mean this round hoop that's going around the dot in the center. That's what the circle is. So the radii are gonna be each one of these radius. So I've got this one right here from R to A. I've got this one right here from R to X. I've got this one here from R to B. And this one here from R to Y. And don't forget your little segment lines right above each pair of the letters. That way you're indicating their segment. Um, that's it for all the radii, because again, from the center to the outside edge. Now here it says name the chords of the circle. Now a chord is a segment, and it's a segment that goes from the circle to the circle. Diameter is also a chord, but it's a special chord. It's a chord that goes through the center of the circle. If it goes through the center, from circle to circle, then it's diameter. If it doesn't go through the center from circle to circle, then it's just a chord, okay? So when it says name the chords of the circle, there's only two chords in the circle, and that would be from Y to B and from A to X. Now the diameters, when it says name the diameters of the circle, well, these are also chords, but again, remember what I'm saying. It's a special type of chord. It's a chord that goes through the center. So it's gonna go from one uh, spot on the circle to the other, but it has to point, I'm sorry, it has to pass through the center. So I've got AB, and I've got XY. And you can put those letters the other way if you want to, Y, X, and BA, it doesn't matter. Now, down here, it says if AB is 18 millimeters, find AR. Let's look at AB. AB, it's a chord because it's going from circle to circle through the center. So AB it says it's 18 millimeters. Well, if this whole entire distance is 18 millimeters, they want to know what AR is. Well, remember, a diameter is made from two collinear radii. So in other words, we've got this diameter, and we know this is 18 millimeters. Remember, a diameter is made up of two collinear radii. So that means that the radius here and the radius here, they're congruent. And if I take this 18 and divide by two, I end up with nine. And by the way, the formula I taught you was that radius equals your diameter divided by two. Over here, it says if R, oh, by the way, radius, lowercase, sorry, my bad. So RY, if RY is 10 inches, find AR and AB. So when we look here at RY, if we're starting from the center of the circle to the circle, just that one distance there, that's a radius. So if the radius is 10 inches, find AR. Well, AR goes from the center of the circle to the outside edge. Well, all radius, or all radii, pardon me, in the same circle are gonna be congruent. So in other words, if this is 10 inches, so is that RB, so would RX, and so would RA. So we can say AR, that's gonna be 10 inches. Now the next question says, what is AB? 
So AB goes from the circle to the circle, passes through the center. So what's that called again? It's not a chord, it's a special kind of chord, it's called a diameter. So if we know, just like back here, remember here we knew that one of these uh, radii was nine, so the diameter was 18 because nine plus nine is 18. It's kind of working this question backwards. Same thing here. If we know that RY is 10, well then that means RX also has to be 10. So that would make YX 20. Well, if YX is 20 and that's a diameter, AB is also a diameter, also has to be 20 because that's 10 and that's 10. Does that make sense? All right. Next thing, is AB congruent to XY? Absolutely, and we just kind of talked about it when we explained this problem. AB is a diameter, XY is a diameter. If you had the same exact circle, any diameters that you draw in that circle, they're all gonna be congruent. It doesn't matter if I draw a diameter like this, or across here, or across here, probably help if my lines were straight, but all diameters in the same circle are gonna be congruent. Likewise, all radii in the same circle are gonna be congruent. All right, uh, good luck on the quizzes. I hope you all get hundreds.